Hey everyone, it's Jordan, and today I'm going to be talking about the books that I want to read this summer. Just like every season, I always pick books that I want to read in each season. With the summer one, I always have a, a longer list of books that I want to read in the summer than um, spring, fall, or winter. I usually don't do the winter ones because winter is usually a rain slump. Um, season for me, but I am excited to talk about the books that I'm hoping to get to this summer. Like, I have a mix of romance and some of the other books on my TBR that I'm excited that I'm hoping to get to in the summer. If not, that will be okay. I just want to try to get to most of these. But yeah, let's get to the books that I want to read this summer. So I want to talk about the romances that I want to read this summer. The first one I want to read is How to Fake in Hollywood by Ava Wilder and all I know about this book is about two different celebrities that um, just doesn't want to date anybody like they have two of them have different reasons but then they decided to fake date basically and I haven't heard many people talk about this on book two but I know that this was on and it's a pay of release for me like maybe last year or two years ago I don't remember but I just like the cover of it and it just reminds me of summer a little bit even though it takes place in California and Hollywood obviously so but yeah I'm excited to pick this up hopefully I'll get to it on uh, this summer because this looks like a summer read but yeah I'm excited to um, have this as one one of the romance books that I want to prioritize for this summer. The next one that I want to Next romance that I want to read this summer is Desperate Measures by Katie Roberts. All I know about this, this is a um, Wicked Villains uh, romance series, and this is a romance between Jasmine and Jafar, and that's all I know about it. I've heard mixed things about this series, but I know I want to try it out because Becca and Becca and the books liked most of the series, but she didn't like the last book of the series from what I've heard, and I think Stephanie from Stephanie's book first started this series, but... Um, didn't finish it but she had mixed feelings towards it from what I remember but I want to test out because of how popular this series is and I know she wrote um other book series so I'm kind of interested in reading but I do hope to read this because I know they have um a Being a Beast one and NPR Pan one that is later on in this series and I think you do read these in order so this is the first book in the series but yeah, I'm excited to, and nervous about it, but um, I, the reason I put this on my TBR because of how short it is, but hopefully I'll end up enjoying it, even though it's smut and I don't, re I don't read many smut books, but I do hope to um, enjoy this in the summer. And the next book that I want to read this summer is The Guardian by Nicholas Sparks. This is one of the Nicholas Sparks books that I haven't read yet, and all I know about it is about a woman whose husband that died, and, and two of the things that he gifted her was... A dog and uh, a promise that he would watch over her and then a few years pass she wants to uh, love again but it, she's it's like she's there's a love triangle going on I'm not quite sure but like I said I never read this um, before from Nicholas Sparks but I do hope to enjoy him. but I know I still have some like favorites but I'm trying to read all the Nicholas Sparks books that I already own before I get the books that I haven't read yet so yeah I'm just hope I end up in and join this one as much as his uh, other books and the next book that I want to read this summer is Lunar Love by Lauren Con Jessen I think that's how it's pronounced and I apologize if I mispronounced the author's name and all I know about this is about a woman who wants to take over her grandmother's uh, matchmaking business but she's kind of nervous about it because of um, modern day um, because she's from modern day and her grandma is from um, the olden days and she doesn't know how it's going to be how it's going to turn out with her taking over the business and that's all I know about it. and I know that this is a there's a romance in here so I'm really excited about it and and plus I haven't heard many people talk about this book either and I do want to try this out and hopefully I end up in, enjoying it just like any other just like the other romances that are on my TBR. And the next book that I want to read this summer and the last romance that on my list is The Fine Print by Lauren Asher. And all I know, this was described as like a Walt Disney um, billionaires um, having a romance with one of the employees. And that's all I describe it cause, because their main male character has um, owned the theme parks in a production company and it's and it's called Dreamland. It's and they described it as if you like 
Disney you will like this and I've heard mixed things about it to be honest but I want to test it out because I know um, for someone who's a big Disney fan I just wanted to try this out and plus I really like the the cover here and I know there's two more books in the series that follows um, the ma the main male character's siblings as far as I know like each one follows like the first one follows him and the other two books follows his brothers or something like that I don't know but I'm really hoping I'll end up enjoying this despite the, the mixed reviews <laughs> and the next book that I want to read this summer is Peter and the Star Catchers by Dave Perry and Ridley Pearson all I know about it is a kind of like a prequel book of Peter Pan and that's all I know about it. I know I it caught my eye since I was a kid and I just haven't picked it up yet and I do hope to get to it soon because I know there's four books in the series and I'm kind of curious about it but I know I need to read the first book first because I know I still love this book cover. This is one of my favorite book covers and I'm just really want to get this out of the way because this is one of my TBR bets that I still haven't gotten to yet so hopefully I'll end up in Join them because I know that I enjoyed most of the Disney uh, or most of the Peter Pan retellings that I that I've read, but I just hope I, this is one of them that I'll enjoy. But I just I just really hope I en enjoy this one because I I don't know why I keep pulling them off on my TBR, but but I have. But for for me trying to get through my TBR bits right now is kind of difficult. But um, but yeah, I do still hope to enjoy. The first book so I can get to the other books in the series. And the next book that I want to prioritize this summer is um, Percy Jackson and Olympians The Lightning Thief by Rick Riordan just because I've been meaning to reread the first two books in the series and then finish off um, the first series at least and then move on to um, Heroes of Olympus and all the other Rick Riordan books I haven't read yet just because I know I love the, the Percy Jackson books even though I only read the first two books I want to reread the first two so I can move on to the other books in the series and say that I finally completed uh, Percy Jackson and Olympian series so I do want to read this just to get started on my reread uh, and so I can move on the second book which is also a reread for me and then the other books in the series that I haven't read yet so yeah that's why I'm trying to make this up top priority for me that this summer because I want to finish off a series I've started a long time ago but haven't finished yet. And the next book that I want to read this summer is Story Thieves The Stolen Chapters by James Riley and this is the second book in the Story Thief series and if you haven't read the first book the first book's about a boy who just loves um, a, a book series and then she, he sees one of his classroom, uh, classmates jump into one of his favorite books and then he accidentally changed the story completely and I love the first book so much. I haven't read continue on with the series, but I am so behind on dip on sequels on my TBR. It is not even funny. I have like over 30, um, 30 sequels on my TBR, TBR, and I'm trying to catch up on the ones that I haven't gotten to yet, but I know that I enjoyed the first book so much that I want to continue on with the series. So yeah, I am excited to continue on with the series, and I hope that I end up enjoying this more than the first book, because I know sometimes with Sequels, I either like them more than the first book or vice versa, but yeah, I'm just really excited about it, plus I really like the characters in the world, and yeah, I'm just really excited to pick this up and hopefully get some. I get some of the sequels off my TBR for the summer, like on this one here. So the next book that I want to read this summer is Master of Iron by Trisha Levin Seller. This is the last book in the... Uh, um, blacksmith series. This is about a, if you haven't read the first book, the first book's about a girl who just prefers hanging with all, all the medals because of all the anxiety that she has around people, but then she got um, a commission from a warlord to create a sword that steals people's secrets, and that's basically the synopsis of the first book, and I am I enjoy the first one that I decided that I, I, so much that I want to finished the duology off and I just really enjoy it even though I have some favorites from Trisha Levin Seller but I still really enjoyed Blade of Secrets when I read it. I don't remember if I read it a few months ago or like sometime last year but still I am really excited to finish this duology off. And the last book that I want to read this summer is Cinderella's Dead by Kaylin Barron. This is a kind of a Cinderella retelling but at the same time it's not. It's basically like 
takes place 200 years after Cinderella found her prince, and then they start a tradition where the 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 uh, the royal um, family member picks their suitor, and then uh, or the man in the family picks their suitor, and then whoever doesn't uh, pick a um, wife, the rest of the women um, can't marry. That's from what I remember correctly, and and I'm just really curious about it because I know this was hyped in 2020. I think this is when it first came out. Let me double check. Uh, yeah, 2020. So I I love a good retelling also. So I know I liked a lot of Cinderella retellings from, from what I've read. I know there was one that I've read in middle school that I didn't like as much, but, but I still like different fairy tale retellings. And yeah, I'm excited to pick this up because I know I really want it get to it because I know many people enjoyed it so yeah hopefully I end up in um, one of the groups of people that ends up enjoying it because like I said I like a good um, uh, retelling every now and then so that's all for all the books I want to read this summer if you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up and comment down below what books that you want to prioritize this summer because I would like to know if you haven't already click the subscribe button and click the bell icon so you know if I post new videos also you can follow me on social media like Facebook Twitter Instagram and Goodreads which all links will be down below for you guys Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!